Okay. Okay, now here we start with this first picture. It was the original Dale Phonics. This is Wilbert Hart, Randy Kane, Major Harris, and William Poochie Hart. Those are the original and only Dale Phonics. And Wilbert's mm. still going on. These three passed away. This one is the only one that's the original Delphonics. He's still out there singing. Still giving a good show. His name again? Wilbert. Wilbert. Will Delphonic Hart. <laughs> With Delphonics is in uh, quotation marks. Right. This is Wilbert in 1974 at the Total Experience. What was the Total Experience? Total Experience was a, a nightclub that put on all the groups that would come to California. Was that a promotional photo or did you take it? I took this, took this picture. Oh, that's nice. Actually, I took this picture. I was still in high school. I was in the 12th grade. I had a, a photography class. And this was part of my assignment was to take these pictures here. And I took... This, this also, picture. Yeah, Delphonics? This, these are the Delphonics. This was at the International Hotel in Los Angeles. They were doing a, a song called Walk Right Up to the Sun. This is William's oldest brother, Butch. He was the MC, and he would sing too on his own. This is Randy Kane. This is in the studio. The record plant studio on, it was on 3rd off of La Cienega. This is William in the studio, that same studio, the record plant. At the same time, in Studio A was a group called America, and in Studio C was the uh, Brothers Johnson. They were doing the song, Get the Funk Out My Face. This is Wilbert and his little daughter at the studio, at the record plant studio. What year do you think that might have been? That was 1974-75. Okay. And who's this that you're with? This is Major Harris. Also in the group? I was in the group. This is at the Universal uh, Hotel, Universal Amphitheater. Amphitheater. Around when? This is about 1990. Oh, huh. This is William Bishop. We call him Omar. He was the road manager when I started coming around. The West Coast or East Coast? East Coast. Uh huh. Taught me all the stuff I needed to know. This is uh, William, myself, and Omar here in Las Vegas at the uh, Texas station. Here is Randy Kane, myself, and William Poochie Hart. Where was this? This was at up in Sacramento, at some little club in Sacramento. And this is William. We were promoting the album, Here's to You. It was, he was doing a solo album. This is, uh, we were working for Joe Jackson, Michael Jackson's father, and he put us on the show for the BRE. What does that stand for? Um, or what was it? It was an organization that uh, uh, would uh, spotlight the groups that were on and, and then they would do, uh, 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 they're looking for new groups, new acts, and if you had a group, that's where you would be because they had all the record companies there. Oh, oh. All, the, all the big people were at, uh, there. Talent showcase? Yeah. And at that time, Joe Jackson had put William on the, on the bill to you know showcase what he had to do. 
trying to get us back out there. Matter of fact, this was the start of the 70s Soul Jam with Joe Jackson. That kind of showcase? Right. He put that together? He sent us out on tour with the Stylistics. These guys, no, Stylistics are here. He sent us out with the Stylistics, the Dramatics, the Dales, Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes, the Moments. And That was uh, a Joe Jackson production? Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't his production, but he sent us out on that that, that tour. Uh huh. Uh huh. And so uh, when his band, when his his son's band was at their prime, was it? Wasn't he still managing them? Yeah, he was. Uh -huh. He was. He it was right at the end. He had just let Janet go to uh, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, and finally he let Michael go, and uh, so he was building his his own thing back up. And back in the day, when the Jacksons were just trying to start, Joe took the boys to see William, and he showed them how to sing harmony. They liked the clothes that they were wearing. You know, the Jacksons would wear the same little outfits. And uh, so he just did them a favor, you know, I'm mean, trying to get you back on track. And and that's what he did. I remember we were at, at the Motown building and me and William were in the uh, cafeteria and Rufus Clay, the drummer, was that we were at the cafeteria and Norman Whitfield walked in and he said, Hey, Joe Jackson's upstairs, let's go see Joe. So that's when William got back in touch with Joe. This guy here, his name is uh, Moon, call him Moon. He was a drummer, played on a lot of the, the uh, uh, Philly, Philly Groove uh, group songs. This is uh, Jimmy Walker and myself. This was here at, in Vegas at the Texas Station. And that was a fun show. This was part of the 70 Soul Jam. And went back that far. By, by that time, it was Jack Bart and Alan Beck were uh, promoting the show. But have there been different promoters over the years? Uh, no, just Jack Bart and, and then Alan Beck left. So it's, now it's Jack Bart. Jack Bart's a famous promoter out of New York. His father was a, a big promoter, so he followed in his father's footsteps. Okay, who's on this uh, this board here? This board here, well, we start at the top. This is me. Oh, I got some water in my hand, and we were. Uh, that's uh, Lake. I was with Lake uh, Lakeside. That was at the Pomona Fair in California. This is uh, Ain't No Stopping Us Now group. Uh, McFadden, McFadden and Whitehead. Whitehead. Yeah. Over here is Peter White Jazz. This was at uh, the City Lights Jazz Festival here in Las Vegas a couple of years ago. Right here is myself, Peaches and Herb. This is out at uh, San Manuel. This is Barbara Lewis. Hello, stranger. This is at Universal. This is, uh, he was with War. At the same night at Universal. Bloodstone was on the show. And this is uh, Big Harry from Bloodstone. Marvin Craig from Lakeside and myself. Natural High? Natural High, yeah, Bloodstone. This is PB3. He sings with uh, Larry Dunn's Earth, Wind, and Fire. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. I was, I was looking at the guy in the yellow. This one, that's Steve Shockley in the background. That's me in the front. This is here at uh, the City Lights Jazz Festival in Vegas. That's Lakeside. This is Kim Whitley. 
uh, she's a, a, a comedian. Was and she on the tour? No, this this was a we were at Universal one night. Oh, separate. Del Fonis, and then she was backstage. This is uh, William Hart, myself, and one of the guys from Zap. Remember the group Zap? Disco Jazz. Disco Jazz. Was that was that them? Or I'm thinking they of Daz. Did, they did. That was Daz Band. Oh, this yeah. is this is Zap. This is yeah, Zap. spelled backwards. Yeah. <laughs> this is Cuba Gooding Jr. This was at uh, uh, Universal Sheridan the same night. This is Talia Tegueros. Tegueros. She's from the from the Wave. She's a DJ on the Wave. Oh. No, this is Candy Dolfer. This is Talia right here. That's the thing about DJs. You seldom see them in person. Right. Yeah, that's how I said. She is beautiful. Uh-huh. And the other one is? This is Candy Dolfer. Who is she? Jazz saxophonist. Oh, okay. That was at UCLA when they used to have them at UCLA on the Tenor Center. And uh, this is Pam Williams. She used to play with Tina Marie and a lot of groups. She's a jazz saxophonist. These are, this is at Universal Sheridan, Universal Amphitheater. It's Major Harris and, and Mar Party Marty in the background. He was the, the drummer for the Delphonics for a while. Around which year was that? Mm, that was about 80, 89 or 90, something like that. This here is uh, uh, L.J. Reynolds with the Dramatics. I was at Universal Sheridan that night. That was part of the 70 Soul Jam. And right here is Heat Wave. Boogie Nights. Boogie Nights. We were all on the same show. This is Don Lewis. Used to be on Different World. That was at the City Lights Jazz here in Vegas. Here we have Brenton. And this is Phil Perry. That was here in Vegas. Who was he? Phil Perry uh, was with the group. They had a couple of hits, and then he went out on solo. And he has a couple of his song called uh, Postcards in Winter. Real nice song. And then he sung with the Whispers for a minute. They were doing background for him. This right here is Brenton Wood. Mm -hmm. That was at the Greek Theater. Should we get a better shot of him? There I go. He's still out there. And right here we have the the uh, Ohio players. That's when I, they hooked us up on the on the show. It was the Delphonics Ohio players, and the MC was Robin Harris. I think it was down in New Orleans. In this band. This is Marvin Craig with Lakeside, Major Harris. Ronnie Henderson used to be the lead guitar player for the Delphonics. Myself, Troy plays with uh, uh, a couple of local groups. And uh, this is Freddie. I believe his name is Freddie. Okay, good. Anybody else that we, you you These are the about? Dales. This was on the uh, 70 So Jam, like we did. The, from this poster up here, Delphonics and Dales were doing the show together. And this is the same same event with uh, Wilbert, Frank Washington, Major Harris. He was a fill-in Delphonic. This is Wilbert and William in the studio, and we were at Warner Brothers Studio in Burbank. In Burbank, yeah. This is Major Harris, myself, and William. 
That was at a show up in in uh, Bakersfield. And here at the bottom we have uh, Russell Tompkins, used to be the lead singer for the Stylistics. Wasn't he the one of the? He was the founding. Yeah, yeah, he was the Stylistics. And this is the guy that took his place. His name is Eban Brown. These are the Stylistics. This is at the Greek Theater one night. And uh, this is my friend Carolyn, CJ. She, I had brought her to help here to Vegas with me for the show. And these are the stylistics, the, the second group stylistics. E, uh, Russell has his new stylistics, Russell Tompkins' new stylistics. Good. So there's still two, two stylistic groups. And here we have, this is the Long Beach Jazz Festival. This is Reggie Jackson, a friend I grew up with. This is Marcus Miller. This is myself. Marcus Miller, the bass player. Bass player, yeah. And uh, that was a fun night. We had a good time. Me and this guy grew up together. He's another Reggie, part of the Reggies. <laughs> this here is Yo-Yo. Used to sing with Ice Cube. You know, she's a, a female rapper. We were doing a show together that night with the girls we were producing, LXL. Okay. And these are the Dells. And this is a, a one, a one of the last shows we did with the Dells. The concert poster? Uh, yeah. At the Celebrity Theater in the round. And An I was in Anaheim. Uh huh. Around when was that? This was uh, '89. I was out with Wilbert's group, Delphine Groups. Because uh, the two brothers had two different Delphine Groups. William Hart had his set, and then Wilbert had his. So at this time, we did the Arsenio Hall show in 89. I don't know if you can get the top picture up here. I'll have to come back to do that. Let's see. The top one? The top picture is myself, Roland, was a big promoter in LA, and then Howard Hewitt, sung with uh, Shalimar, mm -hmm. and then Marvin Craig, Lakeside. That was after a Lakeside show at the uh, Microsoft Theater. And then the second picture... I want is, to come around here for a second. ...is Marvin Craig. Hang on, hang on, please. Okay, where, wait, wait, let me put this down. Okay, where? The second picture is with Marvin. The color one? The, the, the color one, yeah. So it was Marvin Craig and Roger of Zap. Fred Lewis, I mean Fred Alexander of Lakeside, he's the drummer. And myself. And right here is a picture of Lakeside. The original Lakeside. Okay. And then right here we have the Delphonics, the little fan. You've Delph always, yeah, you've been a fan. Delphonic fan. <laughs> Do all the fans get those? Uh, they did at one time. That's cute. Oops. And uh, go back all the way up to the top. It's with me and George Duke. That was in Carson, California. Mm-hmm. At a fair. Uh, yeah, they, they were doing a fair. And then this middle picture here is me and the guys at the Hollywood Bowl at the Playboy Jazz Festival at the top. That's Derek. Well, which guys? I mean, what guys are they? These guys are here. Uh, no, here. but are they a band? 
Uh, no, just the guys we hang out with. Oh, oh okay. Just, just friends. There's a Derek, Anthony, Oscar, James Wiggins in the back, Larry, my buddy Tony, Josh, myself, and Anthony in the middle. Good. All the guys, you know, we hang out. We all meet every year oh. at the Hollywood Bowl at the Playboy. This is in the back of the Playboy where we sit at. That's myself, Tony, and uh, Bilal. Okay, thanks. This picture here is with my brothers, my oldest brother, Eddie, Gregory, Leonard, and myself. Round when? Ooh, this was uh, the night we did the Universal. Um, I think that was about 95, 97, something like that. Okay. This is a newspaper article that my mother's friend wrote about my brothers. Would, going you, want, would you start that phrase again, please? When you say, this is a newspaper, I wasn't on it. Okay. At the, at, now I'm on. No, yeah. yeah. This is a newspaper article that my mother's friend did for the family, talking about the generations of the brothers that's gone to sea. Now my brothers followed in my father's footsteps, my father and his brothers. Now my brother, his son is going, was going to sea. So it's the third generation. Navy? Of, uh, he, was, he went into the Marines. Was it Merchant Marine? Uh, no, he didn't go in the Merchant Marines. My father was in the Merchant Marines. My brother's in the Merchant Marines. And then they were in the Military Sea Lift Command. And that's civilians working for the government. And my oldest brother, right here, he's a master chef. With? Uh, when he was a merchant seaman. Uh -huh. He followed in my father. So this is my father right here. And my father's brothers. They were all merchant seamen. And then, we can go to this picture here. This is, uh, I'm sorry. We, we did it for a, a friend of mine, Kenny Searcy, uh, had the idea and printed this up for me. Uh, we were having a family reunion and so this is about the generations before us and, and, and behind us. And this is my father's father. This is my father and his brothers. When they, and this is when they, they were young. That's the, the beginning. The past was my, me and my brothers and my, that's when we were young. And my cousin Billy. And then we go to the future, all my nephews. Down here at the bottom is Tyree, Philip, Jason, Alan, Alan, Chris, Sean. Sean was raised with my mother, from by my mother, like just like a brother. And this is Patrick. It's my cousin. Very nice. Very nice. And then th this picture here is all the family that's passed away on both sides, my mother's side and my father's side. It's my mother right here. And this goes up to my mother at the top. With mm. my father next to her on the horse. And then under her, her picture is her when she was a, my mother when she was a baby, Marilyn Green. Is that your dad on the horse? That's my dad on the horse. Uh huh. And this is my father under him. This is my father back in the day in the '60s, in our house. And Where in, was that? At our house in Los Angeles. Uh huh. This is my father on the horse. 
He like he used to like to fish. He used to take his fish and he caught this big fish. This is me and my father. We we're going getting ready to go to Seattle, Washington. Our first trip on the plane. This is at Mount Baldy in California. Big snow day. This is my mother. She won a plaque from her job back in, in, in where she worked at. And this is me. Age? Uh, I was about two. Hmm. And this is me right here. Hmm. And this is the family portrait. This is one of the rare times we had got together after my brothers left and went to sea. It's my mother in the back, my oh, father, Gregory, turn, Leonard. Turn moving a little closer. Sean. I'm sorry, start that again? This is my f mother, my father, Gregory, Leonard, Sean, me and Eddie. Is it, that was about 1971-72. Great. Then we go to this picture. These are my buddies I ran with for years. Kenny Searcy. My friend Danfus, he married this girl, Gladys. And me. And Kenny's cousin. And Kenny's niece. Okay. Those are the guys I ran with, and 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 that's this picture, same picture up here with Kenny and Dan, and me, at Kenny's house. So these are family, friends and family, the, the, not not the, uh, music people. Yeah, these are friends and family. Oops. Breezy. Yeah. And the LXL picture is my friend Steve Shockley, his daughter, this group. And uh, those girls could sing. Look like that's about it. And my all my cars up there that I had. Oh, you made a collage of. Uh... And then that's me at Dockwater Beach. That was 1983. Oh, this this here. Yeah, with with the in the Mercedes. Uh huh. Yeah. That's why I got that Mercedes because I had that one behind us. Yeah. You like Mercedes convertibles? Yeah. That's the style I wanted. Is that about it? That's about it. Yeah, that's about it. Then I, my blank wall for my new Delphonic po picture that's getting painted. It's going to be right there. Custom? Custom custom made, yeah. My buddy, uh, Mohammed Mubarak. Commissioned? You commissioned him to paint it? Yeah. Yeah. It's a big wall. Big, it? It's a big, it's a big picture, real big. One of a kind. Terrific. Thank you, Reg. Thanks for showing us the captions of for who these people are. All right. Through, through, when you look back on your musical career now, uh, it's nice to have it displayed on the walls. Most people have these things in photo albums. Right. Why do you keep them out like that uh, I, on the walls? I, I got tired of having boxes full of stuff just sitting around. Uh -huh. so I, let me put them, that's what they're for, to be looked at. You know, I can look back on them and think of good times and fun yeah. times. You know, learning times. You know, and let everybody else feel the same thing that wasn't there that, you know, you don't get backstage. You never know what the artists are going through, you know. I got that opportunity. Thanks to Wilbert Hart of the Delphonics. Hey, honey, how you doing? <laughs>